Michelle Frost here and welcome to week two of the Content Mojo Challenge, the most exciting week of the two. <laughs> Mind you, there is only two. But anyway, this is the week that I have been looking forward to the most because it's where we're going to turn that epic piece of content, that epic blog post that you did last week into a whole lot of baby content that we can use to spread around the web and spread the good word about how awesome you are and how awesome your uh, what you do is and your product or service etc etc so without further ado this is just an introductory video and I'll do a whole bunch more videos you should see under this one which will be how to use the particular things and how to create the particular uh, types of content um, and it won't be an exhaustive list either because there are lots and lots of things you could do uh, it's quite a long long list and so we'll just do some of them and hopefully that will get you started and get you understanding what it is we're trying to do so as you can imagine we have all created a blog post that's at least 1500 words now this is mine you may or may not have had a look at it um, so that's mine it's around 1500 words it's you know it's okay anyway so this is what we're going to be playing with in order to show you what to do next now what I wanted to talk about in this video was why do we even want to do this that you've created your blog post what most people would do now is just hit um, share and they would like go and maybe maybe in fact not even everyone does this they'll just go share it on Facebook or maybe on Twitter or maybe they've even got it set up so that will automatically share on Facebook and Twitter when they do something and that's it um, and they well, they wonder why nothing happens and it's not really a surprise because they haven't really done anything exciting in order to push this out there. Now, you as a consumer of social media would know that you don't see everything that, that of the, the pages that you have liked on Facebook, for example, you don't see everything that they put out. In fact, the statistics are ridiculous. There's something like 10% or less of the pages that you've liked, will you actually see what they're putting out there? So in order for you as a page owner or as a business owner to get the people who have liked your things to actually see it, you have to put more stuff out there. And that doesn't mean that you have to continually, you know, doing a blog post every day, which actually is not a bad idea, but it's just not practical for most of us who are running small businesses to be able to do that. So instead, why don't you write, like we've done, one massive piece of content, either every two weeks, ideally, in fact, every week would be ideal, or once a month. So just say that this was the blog post we we're going to do for the month. Now what we need to do is create a whole lot of like baby content that points back to it. And if they're not even necessarily other pieces of whole different kind of content, but what we're going to do is create images and infographics and even have a go at turning this into a video and maybe even an audio. And so all of a sudden you've got all these different um, formats that this same information is being presented and they'll all point back to your original website or to your original blog post. And that's the idea because then we will be spreading it out and we'll be making you an expert uh, in this area online. So that when people actually type in whatever the sort of keyword is that you're after. So for me, I guess, if people were typing in mumpreneur, uh, and I've done this job uh, properly in a few weeks time or maybe a couple of months when people type in mumpreneur not only will my website come up or this blog post but maybe even all the other bits and pieces of content that I've put out there around the place so in YouTube or in SlideShare or something from Pinterest all these things would come up uh, and they'll all ultimately point back to my things online or back to my website and you know that's really what we want to do um, so the idea is to, what we're trying to do is build a very strong base for your business online, not just on your website by creating a, a fantastic blog post, which is actually an important element of this whole process, but we're also trying to make your base a bit broader outside of your website, all related to the same things, and that they all point back to your website as well. So that's, you know, the main reason that we do this. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then hopefully what will happen is that you'll actually own the space in this particular industry for these particular keywords or key phrases. Now, 
one of the things I want you to think about, and I'm not sure how much detail we'll go into this in this um, this challenge because what you have to do this week, this next seven days is quite a lot. Um, well, it depends on how much you want to create, but ultimately the idea will be that you can get down the few pieces of con extra content that work for your, um, your area and your particular audience and you go and post that in those particular places on the web, usually different kinds of social media sites. Um, and you work out how to do that in a way that doesn't take you so much time. And we're going to use services like Buffer. Now that well, this is the service I use. There are other services like Hootsuite um, and even uh, CoSchedule is a great little app um, that I found as well that I started to use a little bit more. But for example, now we've got Buffer uh, and I do have, there's a video up on the website somewhere uh, in regards to using, using Buffer to repurpose other people's content. Um, so that would be very useful to have a look at if you want to understand a bit more about Buffer. But so here's my blog post. So this is one thing that I would always do and that would be to hit the little Buffer app up here. That loads up um, Buffer. I'm on Chrome at the moment. I think it's available for most of the different um, browsers. Now in the free version of Buffer you're allowed I think um, one one web one uh, page for each different so you could have one Facebook page um, or account and you could have one Twitter and one blah 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 one of everything anyway but and I think up to five different accounts but I have a paid version which is ten dollars a month and that allows me to have an unlimited lot so so I've got um, you know lots of different Facebook accounts that I've linked to it uh, now so that was the upsticks and go one that's obviously not relevant to this content per se, whereas this is the Mission Mojo one. So this is the uh, one there. And then there's the Mission Mojo page. So one's the page and one's the group. So one's the group that we're doing this challenge in. Then I've got Pinterest. So if I wanted to, I could add Pinterest and then I'd have to click on uh, the board. So you have different boards inside your Pinterest account. This one here is Instagram. So say I want to share this with Instagram. So I'll leave that in there for now. Google Plus, Twitter, and then a couple of other Facebook pages which are relevant. And then this is my personal one. And in this case, I might share it to my personal one because it's you know, it might be of interest to some of my friends and family as well that I've done this silly post, which is about uh, not wanting to be called a mumpreneur. Now, here I have the ability to change. What it's done, what Buffer has done, is gone off and grabbed the heading and put that in there, which is handy, and an actual link. So it's converted the link to a link that's shorter which is great and I can track it. Now what I can do is remove all of that if I want and change it and put something or I can just even add to it. But at the moment, I think for the purposes of this, I'm just going to leave it. And um, because of the way it's connected to Facebook, now you also have to put something separate in for Facebook. I would usually just copy that and paste it down there. Now this number you see here is in relation to the fact that I've also selected Twitter and with only 140 characters, it's keeping an eye on how many characters I've written. If I was to deselect the Twitter, you see that number's gone, so it doesn't matter anymore. Now I've selected it again. Now, interestingly, you come down here and you've got uh, the images. So it selects images from uh, the actual page that I've selected uh, to use. Now this is for the Pinterest. I can select whichever um, image I like that I think would suit Pinterest better. And in fact, Pinterest things tend to be long, so it'd be better to select the uh, dadpreneur one. Um, it should choose the feature image to put in um, for the other ones. It may not. <laughs> yeah, so it, it should choose the feature image for these ones, but we'll see. It might end up using the dad ones as well. I can also go and add another image or I can even create one. So Buffer has a similar sort of service. It's a little bit, quite a bit newer, I should say, than Canva. But it has um, a similar service where you can put wording and things over images and provide you with some free images. So that's another thing that you can do there. And then I can just click add to queue or I could go share uh, next or now or schedule it for a different time. Now when it comes to queue, if you know anything about Buffer, you'll know that when you set up each individual account, you say when you want things to go out. So you might want to say, I've got five different times on a Friday and they are so, so and so and so, five different times over the day, over that 24 hour period. And when you go add to queue, it just slots it into the next time schedule that you have. 
So, or you could have chosen those other options. And the other thing you have as an option in Buffer, just in the app, is the little power scheduler. So I could actually choose to share it at different times and multiple. So you know, we talk about evergreen things. Well, this is a great way to look at evergreen. So I could click any of these different crosses and have it um, get shared over those things, over those different platforms at different times of the day, um, right up to, well, at the moment, seven days. I assume I can go out even longer. So uh, I can select a particular date there if I want to. So there's a lot of options there uh, where I could have this particular blog post being sent out to those different social media platforms for you know quite a few days over and over again, which is fine. So don't get stressed that you're having the same thing being sent out because ultimately, as I mentioned at the beginning, people are not sitting around watching everything that you are doing because they're busy getting on with their things and social media is very, very full. So if you don't put it up more than once, it is likely that the people that you are aiming for, that the people who want to see what you've written, won't actually get to see it. So you're actually doing them a service by putting it up more than once, all right? So you've got to keep that in your mind as well. Now I'll just hit add to queue so that you can see what happens. So it goes off and Buffer does its work and eventually this will pop up on our different platforms, <laughs> actually including the, uh, the Facebook group which we're obviously getting a bit more activity in at the moment because we're doing the challenge. So you'll see that pop up there. Oh, it says it's taking a little bit of time. It's probably uh, my internet connection. So hopefully that will go through in a minute and will return, be returned back to the actual page. Yeah, there you go. So that's up and running. Now, I just thought I'd, before I finish this introductory video, take you over to Buffer. So this is the Buffer website. You, are, you can use the Buffer website directly as well. You don't have to use the app like I was just doing. Uh, you also have an option to use it on your phone and I assume your, um, uh, if you have an iPad or some sort of a tablet, you can use it there as well. So there's quite a few options for using Buffer. Uh, in here, I just wanted to show you that, well, actually this one's already popped up. Look at that. And it did use the, the dead one, but anyway. Um, I here I've selected the group because of what I wanted to show you is those ones that you've been seeing pop up in the group. I actually set those, um, well, er, not earlier this week, but I think even on the weekend. So a few days ago, I set those to come up at the different times. So when you're supposed to put in your uh, numbers for how many words you've done in your blog post, they go in automatically because I set them to go in at a particular time uh, each day and that's what's happening and that's why you see them when you see them. And this is the, the questions one. So, you know, have you got any questions ready for our live call? Now, when I realized this morning that our live call tomorrow will be uh, half an hour earlier, I actually just came in here and edited it. And that was very simple. I could just change this from 8 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. That wasn't any problem at all. The other cool thing in here is that you can have a look at the analytics and it will actually tell you, you know, what kind of response you've had to the different posts you've put up. So. That's pretty cool. Obviously, you get a lot more response from those ones where you're supposed to put in <laughs> how many, um, you know, how much, how many words you've written. So that's kind of interesting, isn't it? So I can do that with all, with each of these. I can go down and click and have a look at the analytics. Um, and here's the scheduling that I was telling you about. You can, if you really know your particular audience, you can choose to schedule over uh, particular days at different times um, and that kind of thing. So. It's a very powerful buffer. I would go and have a look at it if I was you. Um, and of course, from here, you can actually post directly in. So if I wanted to post something just to the Facebook group, I could do it there. Uh, or I could actually select a whole bunch of them um, and go and then just post something, add an image or create an image, etc., etc., and put a link in. So you have lots of flexibility. Uh, it's a very good way to automate a lot of the things that you are doing by setting up uh, ahead of schedule when you want to post things. So. That's what we do if we want to just post your blog post. And I would I would like to see you all go and do that to actually go and set up a schedule um, and use that ahead schedule as well. So that's actually being posted more than once in the future. So uh, you could choose whether it's going to go out, um, you know, uh, every other day or maybe every third day or something. But you can work it out. And again, that was something that will come with testing and different times of the day for your different platforms as well to think of that. Now, 
I'm going to go now and create a whole bunch of videos just to give you an idea on the different kinds of content that you can be creating. And what I want you to do for the rest of the week, till next, um, I guess it's next Friday, next Saturday, um, which will be the end of the, uh, the whole challenge, is create as many pieces of content, of repurposed content that you can from this blog post. And I will create a bunch of videos in a minute to show you the kinds of content that I'm thinking about and to give you some ideas. But you are more than welcome to think outside the box and create some other pieces of content. Because then what I would like to see you do is come in here to things like Buffer and start sharing those as well. So even though you might create um, like an image. So if you created, um, sorry, let me see, like a, a meme, which is sort of like a, an image with a quote on it that comes from inside this blog post, you might then come over to Buffer and then you would share that meme across many of your social media platforms. So I hope you understand that, how that would work. Um, if I was going to do an infographic, which had a lot of text and it was a long, um, a long image, which had a lot of information in it, which I've probably I've been trying to work out how to do that from my blog post. I think I've got an idea. Um, that in particular, it looks quite good on Facebook, but because of the way Pinterest is set up, which is um, they're not landscape, but they're more um, uh, the other way around, <laughs> a taller image, um, then that would work quite well because often infographics are in that way. They're more, um, yeah, portrait, portrait style. So um, give that a little bit of thought. And of course, you can then share them to multiple places. So Buffer will be my sort of go to place to share all this additional content. Um, some of the content we'll be creating, things like videos, will actually, they'll live on YouTube, but again, you can come in here and share it. Um, things like if we create some slides, like a slideshow, then again, uh, that can be shared in here. So although that actually will live over on that particular website, um, well, there's a couple of different websites we can choose to put slideshows up on. Um, but it'll they'll live there, but you can share it into your other social media platforms uh, using things like Buffer. Um, and then once you've worked out a mix that works for you, this is something that you can just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and keep building this foundation for your business. Um, that will, once you've done it, it's, it's not going to go away, especially if the content you create is evergreen. So I hope this has helped. Any questions, run over to the Facebook group. We're there. Um, we're being pretty active. Um, and I'm certainly around uh, to answer any questions you have. And ongoing this week, we will have um, our mostly eight o'clock in the morning in Australia uh, time for a Q&A and live Facebook call. Uh, we we'll also want you to remember that there is a competition and the competition is um, it, whoever comes up with the most pieces of content, which I will decide at the end of next weekend and will be announced uh, the following Wednesday got a busy weekend that weekend um, and the prize because it's a competition there will actually be a prize and the prize is that you get a free copy of my how to create a digital product course that I did last year and you'll also get a couple of hours um, to spend with me working through if you're not already started a business we'll work through where where you can go and some ideas and how to get you started quickly if you're already in business then we can work through some uh, some great marketing strategies that will work just for your business. So you've got two one-hour sessions with me, which will be very valuable for you, I'm sure, no matter where you are in this process. So get to it. Start checking out the videos below and start making some extra content and building your business online by building extra content and repurposing that fantastic work you've done in the last week. So very proud of you all. And uh, again, Come and ask me any questions in the Facebook group and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.